Now this time we will understand relationship between language and gender with the help of pragmatic theory that was offered by philosopher Paul Grice. Paul Grice is known as philosopher of ordinary language. People like uh, Russell, Burton Russell, they thought that human language, especially ordinary language, is not worth of study, worth studying. It is very messy, it is impure, so it is not uh, befitting for philosophers to discuss such kind of petty thing as ordinary human languages. So we are logicians, so this is not fit for logical analysis. He was the person who elevated ordinary language. And uh, that's why his theory is very relevant to language use because it is ordinary use of language. We can understand relation between gender and language through language use. You all know this. For this purpose, we discussed different uh, methods, procedures taken from different disciplines. For example, conversation analysis, speech acts, metaphors. These notions tell us that speakers create meaning in language use. Uh, this is the central point of the whole discussion that is going to start now onwards in many uh, modules. Our central point would be that language words don't have meaning in themselves. It is the users of the words, it is the language users, the speakers who assign meaning to words. This is the main point. Now to understand this meaning in communication, so according to this uh, a new conception, meaning is created during communication, definitely when we speak, because speakers assign meaning, so speakers assign meaning when they communicate. So this is meaning in communication. To understand this, we will discuss theory of meaning that was proposed by Paul Grice. Grice says that meaning created by speakers and understood by hearers addresses audience in communication is non-natural or what is meant by non-natural. This meaning is not that kind of meaning which is produced by cause and effect relationship. There is no, in simpler words, no direct relation between the words and their meaning. Right? This is non-natural meaning. It is based on convention. So how meaning, certain meaning is related with certain words? It is the convention. It is the conventions which are, which are set by community, speech community, which relate certain meanings with certain words. A community decides, for example, that a four lakh furry animal of this size, of this color, with such kind of petty uh, feet and claws, etc., and such kind of ears, will be known as cat. Now, every person in that community will call such animal cat. If tomorrow the whole speech community agrees that this animal would be labeled like this, so the label would be changed. So it is the speech community, the agreement of speech community, the convention which we are calling, which relates meanings with words. Otherwise, there is no direct relationship between the two. For example, now to understand uh, this whole e explanation, see this example. You are in bath and phone bell rings. Your mother or wife calls you, there is a phone and you from bath respond, I am in bath. 
what happens your mother understands your response as that i can't attend the phone call now see the verse i am in bath and what the haters understand here the mother or wife the meaning she understands is i can't come to attend the phone is there any relationship between the words actual words and the meaning that is conveyed by those words no not at all your mother understand that you mean this there is no natural link between what is said and what is meant this is called non natural meaning the interesting thing is that the speaker thinks that the hearer will recognize what he she wants to convey what is his her intention okay how the speaker assumes that the hearer would recognize my intention as the mother did in this short dialogue essentially the hearer has some invis invisible resources which support him to recognize that meaning the meaning is not obvious that is not direct it is indirect it is implied it is hidden but even then the hearer recognizes that meaning how through invisible resources and what are those resources they are conventions this is a task to concretize our abstract talk now you will see here a situation find out what speaker as as for speaker intends to say and what the hearer h for hearer understands in this dialogue speaker says i'd be glad if you join me at the party tonight the hearer responds i will exam tomorrow now see how the speaker gets meaning from the message of hearer you try to determine it in this task then you will understand what is meant by non natural meaning the meaning which we create in communication is non natural you will understand with the help of this talk so we conclude it is speaker who gives meaning to words words themselves have no meaning so instead of asking what is meaning of an utterance we should ask what the speaker intends to convey in this utterance that is important for us Thank <laughs> you.